Welcome to this course, Branch Accounts. I am C.N. Raja, Chartered Accountant, your instructor for this course. In the past, I've been team leader, AVP, Project Finance, Mid Corporate Credit State Bank of India. I'm also visiting faculty for financial management, strategic financial management with professional institutions. Before introducing this course, let me make it clear who should take this course. This course is going to teach you about branch accounting procedures. So this is an apt course for CA, CMA and CS students and of course for BCom, MCom students because they have branch accounting as part of their accounting paper. So how this course will benefit you? This course will teach you the theory and practice behind branch accounting. What are the major components of this course? In this course, you will understand accounting in respect of dependent branches, independent branches and foreign branches. Then you have lots and lots of case studies to explain each and every concepts and methods. So once again, let me welcome you to this course. In this session, let's understand what is branch, then what is branch accounts? What are the objectives of branch accounts? What are the types of branches? Okay, to get started, what is branch? Branch is basically an establishment or we'll say a subordinate division of a business. So it can be an establishment or subordinate division of a business. It can carry on either the same activity or substantially the same activity as carried out by head office. Okay, so understand branch is an establishment or a subordinate division of head office and it can carry out either the same activity of the head office or substantially the same activity okay so if you want to have branch what is must is you need a ho okay without ho you cannot have the concept of branch okay so for having branch there should be an ho so if a business has various branches, then it becomes absolutely necessary to maintain the records of branches. So this will help us to understand the performance of each and every branch and the business as a whole. So if you want to understand the performance of each and every branch, that is possible only when the records are maintained at the branch level. And that will help you to understand the performance of the branches as well as your entire business. Let us also understand the objectives of uh, preparing the branch accounts. Why business entities should prepare branch accounts? If you want to know what is the profit or loss position of each and every branch, you should have accounts for branches. And by having accounts for branches, it will help in controlling the branches in a more effective way because you get to know which branch is making profit, which branch is making loss, so you can understand where you have to pay more attention. So by having branch accounts, you get to know what is the actual financial position of each and every branch. And it will also enable the head, head office to understand what are the requirements of the branches in terms of, let's say, goods or in terms of cash. That is, what is the exact requirement of branches that can be understood only by having branch accounts. Similarly, if efficiency have to be improved if any suggestions are required that is possible only after analyzing the branch accounts and having branch accounts will ensure complaints of statutory requirements because if a corporates if a companies are having branches then there is a mandatory legal requirement that they should have branch accounts let us also understand what are the types of branches. Branches can be divided into three types for accounting purposes. Number one, dependent branch. Number two, independent branch. And number three, foreign branches. Okay, so in the next session, let's understand what are dependent branches in depth. Let's understand what are dependent branches. Dependent branches are those branches which will not maintain their own sets of books. Okay, so for these branches, records will be actually maintained at head office. The business policies and administration of the branch are literally controlled by head office. Okay, so business policies, admin of branch are fully controlled by head office. 
and the accounts for these branch will be prepared only by head office based on the reports received from the branches and if you want to have some example of those kind of branches let's say the branches which are set up only for booking orders okay they will not do any other activity they'll only book orders or say for example the branches which are established at commercial centers okay so they also showcase or they just exhibit the company and they receive orders okay then the third branch or basically the branch set up for retail purposes i mean they'll try to or they sell the goods on a retail basis directly to the consumers which are in turn supplied by the head office okay so if you take these two cases the accounting is very simple because only expenses are there that is going to be booked but in case of third branch there is going to be some sale also and sale can be on cash as well as credit depending upon the organizational policy so that requires a little bit detailed approach and understanding okay so that's the dependent branch and let's see some of the features of dependent branches let us understand some of the features of uh, dependent branches number one the dependent branches they basically sell the goods which are supplied by the head office and how about the purchase sometimes they are allowed to make uh, purchases but otherwise generally head office will purchase goods and that will be sent to branch okay and uh, the payments will be made by ho for purchases and whenever the head office sends goods to branches when head office sends goods to branches they have a choice they can send the goods at cost price or at invoice price that depends upon organizational policy so they may send at cost price or invoice price then the branch expense like rent salary okay power charges advertisement everything will be paid by head office will be paid by head office and for meeting small expenses at the branch level the branch manager will be provided with a small cash called petty cash so that got to be maintained on impro system to meet petty cash expenses okay so it can be either a simple petty cash or it can be maintained on impressed basis okay then regarding sales the branches are generally permitted to make only cash sales credit sales will be permitted or are allowed only to select set of customers approved by the head office okay then the sale proceeds will be remitted to head office on a daily or monthly or the intervals decided by the organization then for these kind of dependent dependent branches two sets of ledgers will be maintained at head office level one is going to be the stock ledger that will help the head office to understand what is the stock position okay what is the movement of goods and the other ledger is data's ledger and this will help help the head office to know uh, who are all the data's and what are the amounts that are due 